Hi friends, welcome to the Chickadee Knitting Club. My name is Caitlin, and in today's video, we're gonna learn the final step to knitting, casting off, or binding off. I've heard it both ways. In the same way that casting on is getting the yarn onto your needles, casting off is getting the yarn off of your needles. And once you've cast off your project, there is one final step after that, and it's called weaving in your end. And I'll show you what that means when we get to it in the video. Typically, you'll need a tapestry needle or a crochet hook for that final step. But if you don't have either, I'll show you another way to do it that doesn't require any materials other than a scissors. So what are we waiting for? You've done all this hard work to knit your project, and now let's finish it up. To bind off, all you're gonna need is the project you wanna finish, and a pair of scissors. You're going to start by making two normal stitches. In through the front door, around the back, through the window, off jumps jack two times. You're going to take your left needle, slide it underneath that first stitch almost like you're going in through the front door. I'm going to hold on tight to the yarn and slide the first stitch over the second one and over the top of the needle. And you're going to drop it like off jumps jack. Now you have one stitch on your needle. So you're going to knit one more on there so that you've got two. Once again, Slide as if going through the front door, over the other stitch, and over the top of the needle, then off jumps Jack, just like that. Knit a stitch, and slide the first one over the second one. You can already start to see the edge of your project. You're going to follow those steps, knitting a stitch, and then sliding the first stitch over the second one all the way down to the end of the row. And you're going to do the exact same to that last stitch. Now you've only got one stitch left on the needle. I'm going to hang on to that and now's the time to grab your scissors. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a pretty decent tail at the end of your project. Holding on to that point, and then snip it off right there. Next, you're gonna carefully slide the needle out from under the last stitch. and pull the tail through it, tugging until it's nice and tight at the end. And here, I wanna congratulate you on your first finished project. Give yourself a big round of applause, a big pat on the back, and be really proud of yourself. You've worked hard for this project. It's taken a lot of hard work to get here and I am so proud of you. But you're not exactly done with your project. You still have the tails from when you cast on and bound it off. And there are three ways to take care of these tails. You could weave them in with a crochet hook or a tapestry needle. But if you don't have either of those, it's totally okay to just snip them off and I'm going to show you how to do it all three ways. Now, there is a proper fancy way to weave in your tails, but it's very difficult. And so instead, I'm going to show you a beginner way that will work just fine and be much easier. If you have a crochet hook, you're going to want to hold your project really close and pull up the end so that you can see the V's underneath. Starting at the opposite end from where your tail is, you're going to take the crochet hook 
and weave under and over the V's all the way down the row. This does not have to be perfect by any means, but if you find that your stitches are too tight and you can't push your crochet hook through, that's totally okay. You can just skip this step and go straight to snipping the tail off, which I'll show you how to do at the end of the video. Okay, once you've made it to the end of the row where the tail is, you're gonna grab it with the crochet hook and gently pull it through the little tunnel of V's that you've made. All right, and at the very end, you take it through that last V, pull it, and then tug on your project. And there you have it. You can't even see it. But if your tail was longer than your project, you can just take your scissors and snip it off at the very end. This is how I weave in the end with a tapestry needle. You're gonna take the tail and thread it onto the tapestry needle. It's a little tricky. So what I like to do is fold the yarn in half and push it through. Once you've thread your needle, you're gonna pull up the end of your project and try to find the little V's underneath. And take your needle and go under and over the V's, weaving the tail through the back of your stitches. My little needle is pretty short, so I can only go a few stitches in before I have to tug the end of it through. And then I just go and keep continuing. If you find that your stitches are too tight for you to fit your needle through, you can always just skip this step and go straight to snipping the tail off, which I'll show you how at the end of the video. When you've pulled the needle and the tail through the last loop, you can tug on your project and you can hardly tell where your tail went. As you can see, my tail is a little longer than my project. So I'm going to take my scissors and snip it right off at the end. Now I'm going to show you how to snip off the tail if you can't weave it in. All you have to do is make sure that the knot at the end is super, super tight. You don't want your project unraveling, but if your knot is nice and tight, there's a little chance that it will. And take your scissors and very, very carefully cut off the end of the tail. You're gonna want to tug at your project just to make sure that it's good and that it's not gonna unravel. Or you might even want to leave a few millimeters of tail just to be sure. And now you are officially all done with your project and you can enjoy it knowing that you have done an excellent job, you've worked really hard, and you can be very proud of yourself and of your work. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was a helpful video to teach you how to finish your project. And if you'd like to share a picture of the project you finished online, don't forget to tag the Chickadee Knitting Club. Stay tuned for more videos about the wonderful world of knitting. I'll see you soon.